Hey what's up guys, it's the Ghost Hacker here and I am back for another Visual Studio tutorial and today we're going to be starting our first mini series. I've mentioned this in the past and today I'm finally starting one. So what we're going to be doing today, or starting today, is a new project and I'm going to show you guys how to make a Skype tool or a Skype bot or whatever. I'm going to be showing you guys how to use Skype pretty much in Visual Studios and make programs to work with Skype. So this first episode is going to be very easy, not very hard at all. I'm just going to show you how to get the Skype API and how to um, attach Skype to your program. So we're going to hop right in here and create a new project. Name it whatever you want. Uh, sure, why not? Okay, so let that load there. Now you're going to need the Skype DLL file. I will put that or put a link in the description for that. You can download it. You'll get this file right here, just one little file. And what you're going to do with that is go into your Visual Studio, go to Project, go to Add Reference right here. Now it won't show up there for you. You're going to have to click Browse. Mine's on my desktop. Find wherever you download it to. Double click it. And it'll show up there. Make sure it's checked and click OK. OK, now we got the DLL in the, in the project. So now we actually need to attach our Skype client. So we're going to double click our form. Go to Form 1 Load. And before we do that, actually, we're going to go up here and we're going to do Imports Skype com lib. Alright, so now in our form load, actually, I forgot one more thing. Before we do that, <laughs> up here, we're going to do dim with events um, Skype, okay, whatever you want, you can put any name here, I'm going to do Skype as new new Skype uh, with events Okay, I don't know why that didn't work the first time. I might have misspelled it. Alright, so now we're going to go here and we're going to do whatever you put here. So I put Skype here. Skype dot attach. And then we're going to do brackets 7, comma, false. Alright, so now that will work perfectly fine. But the only problem is if your Skype ain't already started when you start the program, it's just going to crash your program and nothing, nothing's going to happen. So to fix that, we're going to do try uh, catch and try. Okay, so now it'll try, try to start it. And if it can't, it's going to go here and we're going to do message box and we're going to do failed to connect to Skype client make sure the Skype client is running there we go we just fix that alrighty so now we got that going for us so if we start our program wait for it to load here now you think okay it started no problem it worked uh, if you go into your Skype here, you will see. Oh, actually, it didn't ask me because uh, I've already done this, so I might have to redo that. Okay, so as you see here, it shows that it has connected and it's working with Skype. But um, the first time you do this, it's going to say, Do you want to allow or uh, not allow it to access Skype? I already clicked allow, but um, I can't show you that guys because I already did it because I tried making this video before. Trust me, it'll show up. This showed up, so you know it's working. Alrighty, so that connected to Escape. It worked perfectly fine. I'm going to show you one more thing before I end the tutorial, and that's going to be how to get your name. So we are going to go here, and we're going to grab a label. There we go. And now we're going to go back to the form one load. 
we're going to go here and we're going to do label one dot text equals okay um skype dot current user and i'm going to do dot full name all right so now if we start a program as you can see um, that's my Skype name, TGH, and then Austin in brackets, because that's my name, if you did not know that. Um, so yeah, that's how you do it. It's working with Skype, as you can see. It got my name from Skype. I can show you that's my name on Skype. Right here. That's my name right there. So, um, that's how it's done. Very easy. But, uh, we're going to be doing some more advanced stuff further into the tutorial, sorry. And, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So, I hope you guys stick around. And until next time, guys, hope you guys have a great day, and bye-bye.